I don't think strip mining has a certain number. You just pick a number. If your heart likes it, you go with that number. What number is your heart saying to you? Random. <laughs>you had more wheat oh yeah thank you yes how do you think oh dude i can't i can't stand in your house i'm sorry the fire is gonna start a, the fire is annoying me you're gonna go up there one day to like fix something or something like that and then it, you're gonna die captain sparkles had a really really nice advice on how to on how to how to find the ancient debris um mm -hmm. with his bed thing he also said what you could do is you can take a piston and a composter Right? Mm -hmm. You get in the composter, push the piston above you, activate the piston, and then it kind of like initiates a like x ray glitch, and, and you can see, and he goes, just start exploding and start mining towards where there's l the least amount of lava pockets. I'll tell you what though, definitely check out his Sky Factory uh, stuff. That's an amazing playlist. For anyone watching, please subscribe to Captain Sparkles. It's He's a good man. And now I've been playing Minecraft Dungeons and it's actually pretty it's actually pretty fun. I enjoy it. Yeah, it, it's like Diablo, except I've never played Diablo. Mm -hmm, but it's nice. There's bone meal stuck in between my flooring. <laughs> now I gotta break this with my fist. There we go. Now I can't. Can you make stairs or like chairs in Minecraft? Is that a thing? No, you can't. Not really. You can lie down in Minecraft. You can run in Minecraft, but you can never sit in Minecraft because sitting sit in Minecraft. Cause sitting is a cardinal sin. You gotta go to the priests. Yeah, you, like, ha you hey, have to. Yeah, you, you have I to. Have uh, a confession to make. You're exactly. Like, tell tell us. Your heavenly Father will forgive everything. I sat in the chair. Sense. Oh, get the hell out of here. I'm Your sorry. Genders. You're going to hell. Oh, that is creeper. I don't like creeper. Please no. Oh, it's oh good. Very bad. Yeah, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a while before. Oh, very bad. No, very bad, very bad. Lodestone requires uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. It requires eight chiseled stone breaks and one netherite ingot. Oh boy, there we go. That was pounding, dude. My heart is pounding and aching. Mm -hmm. In all sorts of ways, that's another creeper. I'm not a fan of this. I'm really not a fan of this. I'm pretty far away from where my- Oh no! Oh my god. Oh. Shit. This is kind of like a nice spot right here, I guess. I just blasted some shit out of my ass. For real? I'm now an ass blaster. Nice. How, how, how high'd you get? That's pretty high. The construction has begun. Very good. That's what I like to hear. No, please stop it. Oh, there's two of them. No, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. You know, when you said, I'm going to go mining, this isn't what I pictured it sounding like. 200 by 100. That's the final number. That's, that's what's going to be. Oh, there's a horse with diamond armor. That what? It's just uh, that can't be true. No, come here. There he is. Oh, look at him. There he is. I found Mitchell. You found Mitchell? I found Mitchell. And just like that, he rides off into the distance. Follow him home. Thank Find goodness. out where he lives. He's far too quick for my eyes. So Mitchell is somewhere in the birch forest. He's he is in the birch forest. Yes. All right, I'm coming to find him. Three weeks later. Oh, I see. Uh, Brent, I think I see you. Do wait. You said you're on top of a snow mountain. Yeah. Jumping. Okay, maybe I don't see you. I found two spruce doors. I think I found Mitchell's house. Where? I found no, him. Oh, motherfucker. I found him. No. Mitchell, I found you. 
What? Shit. What? I, I found you. You just what? You kind of disappeared. I saw your name. Uh, I'm deep in the underground. Okay, I found my stuff. What the hell? I saw your name, Mitchell. trade with you. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at your door. Yes. No, come up here. Get up here. Watch this. Hello. Damn. This is 200 by 100. Holy hell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is the size of my base. Dude, that's insane. Ready for a trade? Here, yes. I'll, I'll trade you first because I gotta, I gotta count it out. Here, actually, let's go back down. Let's go to a safer location. Fine idea. He traded a stack of potatoes for what? 40, 40 lapis. lapis. Considering that now potatoes are literally, I can get them easily. I'm not even worried. You didn't offer me any lapis. Yeah, Alex. Oh, God. Mitchell, sorry. Mitchell, I'm so sorry. I forgot. Mitchell, no, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mitchell, would you like any lapis? I have 20. <laughs> I'm just bugging you. I have plenty of lapis. Alex, you're genuinely like the sweetest person ever. Thanks. Remember that time Alex showed up to school with like fake tattoos? Yeah, with a whole fucking sleeve on his arm. I was like, dude, what the hell? Yeah, the funniest thing is that I went up to like uh sh to one of our one of our friends in theater, and I um I showed her it, and she was like, "That's fake." I could immediately tell that. I was like, "How?" And she's like, "Oh, I'm an artist. The, br the breast strokes weren't right." Personally, from oh, yeah, uh, uh. dude, I'm at half a heart. Jesus, did you fall? Yeah, I did. I can't even render all of that rectangle side. Yep. Yes, you can't. So proud of his unrenderable. <laughs> See, the great thing about my base is that you'll never actually be able to see it. Does anyone just want gold? Because I know that none of us are going to use it for building. Yeah, I'll take gold. I think gold's I'll... actually pretty useful. What can you get from a piglin? Um, you can get a lot of things. Pigments aren't a thing anymore. They've, they've been discontinued. Yeah, they're called piglin. They're called zombie piglins. I'm gonna continue to call them pigmen because I refuse to norm. Accept that the pigmen's been discontinued. Yeah, I refuse to change their it's name because it's okay, I, Sai. It's okay. I I I love the I love the pigmen, so I refuse to change their name. I'll tell you what, I will trade you a stack of raw potatoes for however much gold you need. Are you just gonna try to trade potatoes for everything? That is my sole purpose in life right now. Uh, how about this? A stack of potatoes for five for ten gold. Yeah, I can do that. There will never be a potato famine as long as I'm on this server. Excuse you. grow potatoes with fertilizer included. Aw, oh, dang. That's so cool. Thanks, man. I know. <laughs> Hit him with an I know. So we back in the mine got our pickaxe swinging from side to side. Side to side, side to side. I'll tell you what, though. Fallen Kingdom is the only song that has ever made me... Actually, that's not true. Fallen Kingdom is, one... is the first song that ever made me cry. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like... Your number is still 69, so I'm proud of you now. I'm proud of you. I was 64 when the day started, you know, I was doing good, and then I tried to help Sai by going to the nether. Turns out I didn't even need to go to the nether because 
I have lava yeah. up here. Nice. Mine shaft leads into a cave, dude. Call it a cave shaft. It's not cave shaft. Shaft, cave shaft? Cave shaft? You don't shut up. Yeah, Alright, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna go off for the night. My energy right. levels are depleting. Yeah, that happens when you're trying to hang around with the idiot me. No, you're not an idiot. Don't say that. You're you're a good person. You have footage to prove otherwise. Hey Brennan, would you like some gold? Nah, I'm okay. Alright. Alex, if you would like to add some gold to the side to the side donation fund, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be. I got four gold. Hey, hey I have mm -hmm. a I have a I have a request. Mm -hmm. Um, can you put a gate or something somewhere in your fence? <laughs> so no. you want to come to visit? Okay, never mind. Thank you. Your Probably kind cool. donation is accepted. Catacomb. Have I been mispronouncing catacomb this whole time? Yes. yes! <laughs> I've always called them catacombs. <laughs> what catacombs. did you think it was catacombs? I don't know. I'm cooming. <laughs> <laughs> but you started curiosity. If diamonds were near lava, where would they be? Like it would, lava. It would be, near lava. Would they be like in the wall near them? No, they'd just be near lava. me to the town hall. I don't know where that is. I have five ink sacks. Anyone want ink, ink sacks? We're good. Well, so I'm Alex, uh, go, gra Alyssa, go grab Alyssa on. at the Water Nation and come to and meet me did at my house. Did you just... Did you just... Yep. Hold on. I... Just so I can hear you clearly. Are, are you offering ink sacks? Ink sacks? But oh. both apply. Um, what? That's no. Okay. What? No. No, they do not. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, hey, well, the da -da. lava the lava is also half done, just like the Fire Nation, the Fire you know what, Kingdom. Jackass. Ready? This is my yeah. chair. That's uh, your chair over I'm there. I'm sorry, hold on. Hold on. Earth, Earth Chief Mitchell gets three chairs for one. He's not that wide. Look, man. This whole thing's, like, weirdly constructed. Alright? I did it to make the proportions make sense. No, it still doesn't make sense because there's one, two, three, four, five blocks here. Yeah, I see you. And there's one, two, three, four blocks on this side. Well, if you get rid of the two, then that still is its center. Yes, it is because there's. Two. And then it and then it wouldn't be, but it wouldn't be center with their chairs with uh, Alex and Alyssa's chair. Well, put their chairs close together and just keep this in one chair. I don't know. I'm not having him sit that close. You Why? are an idiot. You're an actual idiot. What are they gonna do? I don't care, Brandon. Oh my god, this is this this is not a meeting hall. This is a meeting hall. No, this it's, is a nice meeting hall. No, I'm it's, proud of it. It looks good. Mitchell is not three blocks wide. <laughs> <laughs> he has the biggest amount of territory. That doesn't mean so, anything. So Alex, this is your chair right here, and Alyssa, this is your chair, and then Mitchell's this my back. chair, and then that size chair, and then that's Mitchell's couch. I feel like Mitchell's more of a couch guy. Than chair no, guy. Mitchell's a chair guy. It's just apparently he's three blocks wide in this universe. You know what? <laughs> Screw you, okay? I'm try. I'm I spent so long <laughs> on Miss this meeting hall. <laughs> you right? spent so long mi poorly constructing a poorly made meeting hall. Personally, I feel like I did a good job and that this is dope. Uh, personally, I feel like it's off off centered. Is it? Yes, it is. It definitely is. All right. Uh, let me let me take care of some last minute preparations, and then uh, this meeting will go on. Will be underway. All right. Are we? Are, is everyone ready for the meeting to begin? Yeah. Yes. Why are your clothes off, please, Alex? Please put your clothes <laughs> back on. Robot man. President Alex, Alex this please is not the time. Please put your put clothes your, back you. on. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Now, Alex, <laughs> put please your put your pants on. back on. Alex, that's <laughs> disgusting, dude. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right.
Now, right. Alex, could you stop standing? Alyssa, please stop ch standing on your chairs. It's very discut. There we go. Thank you. I'm so okay. sorry. Everyone, okay. if we can just go around the room, say our respective nations. And we titles. already know who we are. Okay. So, so basically, anyone who, who, who wants to speak, we're all going to go in a circle. Uh, if, you have nothing, if you have nothing to say, you say pass. But if you have something to say, you come to the middle and you address <laughs> everyone else. All right. Got it. Cool. I will go first since... Uh, yeah. Um, okay, ladies and uh, gentlemen and lady, uh, I welcome you to the first ever uh, meeting of the Kings and Queen uh, meeting town hall. Yay, uh, put, your, put your hands together. Presidents. Yay, I, I don't give a shit. So all right. Okay. Technically, they are king. Whatever. So today, I have summoned you all here uh, because I feel the need to discuss some bylaws and guidelines. All right. I think Makes they're. Sense. I think they're. Be Could you not interrupt me, please? Good. I think there needs to. What? <laughs> <laughs> <Can> the... <laughs> I think there needs to be some sort of. <laughs> Like rules and regulations on how we conduct business amongst each other. Am I making sense, Mitchell? Thank you. At least he <laughs> listens. All right. So basically, if I hear you laugh again, Brandon, basically what we need to discuss is, first of all, the rules of trade. I propose that trade should work as follows. I think trade basically works where you have two items up on offer. For example, Alyssa. If I'm trading gold uh, to you and you're giving me cobblestone because I need cobblestone, I feel like the amount should not be any set. I don't need cobblestone, Alyssa. <laughs> but thank you. I will keep this. But I, I, I feel okay. like... The, uh, here, you can have it back. I'm not greedy. But oh, I, I you feel... You can have it. No, I don't want it. That you, wasn't you even all it. of it. <laughs> just take it. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Here, let me just... Got any diamonds, too? <laughs> no, no. I don't. Uh, anyways, so like I was saying... Um, I feel like, so if we're trading, I feel like the numbers should be cons- <laughs> What the hell? Okay, I feel like the numbers sh of, of the trade should be only- should only be decided by the parties involved. Alright, I know this is a, like a rudimentary deal, mm. but I feel like it's a law we have to put in place nonetheless. Alright, is that cool with everyone? Yeah, that makes sense. Jump if you're in agreement. Majority votes and we make it a law. You got a problem, Mitchell? You got a problem with this? Huh? He's That's standing right. on his chair. Mitchell Where? says yes. Well, majority rules, Mitchell, and unfortunately you've been downvoted. All right. Next, I'd like to bring up the rules of interaction. By that, I mean war and hey, everything like that. Hey, what happened like with that. going around in a circle? I'm, I, I wasn't finished, but sure, we can go around in a circle. Alyssa, do you have anything to bring up or would you like to pass? I do not pass. Wait, Alex? I do pass. Pass. Okay, fine. Pass. Oh, wait, Mitchell? <laughs> Alright, thank you, Mitchell. Now, the rules of interaction. <laughs> I feel like we need to have some rules of trade. So what I have next to me, you can't see this, but I do have it in real life, is a note, is a, a paper, a piece of paper that is, and a, and a red pen in my hand, and I, I would like us to go around and potentially list out rules of interaction on how war and all that stuff is going to work out. All right? Alyssa, you go first. Why am I first? Because you're right next to me. Mm, can we go the other way? Cool. Mitchell, you go first. Good input, Mitchell. <laughs> Brandon, you go next. Very insightful. I, yeah, I know. I believe we should input... Oh, hang on. I believe mm -hmm. that we should input... The eye for an eye mentality in the sense that if one player kills another of an opposite nation, that opposite nation should get the ability to kill the other player at least once or however many times they killed them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting. All right. Alex, do you have oh, anything, anything to add to our... Yes. <clears throat> yes. I think because we've all been putting in a lot of hours when it comes to work. What's up, Mitchell? What's up? When it comes to, we've been putting in a lot of work and hours into our homes. Mm -hmm. I think putting TNT in each other's nations should not be condoned. 
because that is a lot of real life hours wasted and mm -hmm. potentially a lot of materials wasted, especially for nations such as yours and the water nations. As if any if any part of our um, base is compromised, it would be theoretically be impossible to fix. We would rage yes. quit. <laughs> we would rage we, quit, yes. Just, All right, we just so... hide underground. No base destruction. Oh, uh, that's fair. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wait, hang on. No, he said no TNT base destruction. No, See, no, that's no, a no. loophole there. Hey, exactly. What if someone placed a trap chest in someone's home? No, no, no. Hear me out. Hear me out. May I? Is everyone cool with me going in for yeah, a second? Yeah. Cool. Sai has the floor. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Brandon. Um, essentially, I feel like TNT should be able to be used. However, TNT cannot be used in destroying anywhere near other people's bases. Or anything that they make. Exactly. If, ha if any part of the base is destroyed based on any explosion or TNT base explosion that is caused by someone else, unless that they can prove that they, in fact, did not mean to do it and they did not have the intention of doing it, they... So, for example, if they if they intended to have a trap and the TNT was underneath the house and the house exploded, they owe the person whose house ex exploded uh, several diamonds, depending on the damage. I, agree. Uh, I have a rebuttal to that, go actually. On, go on. With, with the damage, mm -hmm. because diamonds are hard to access and not all of us have them, but the Water Nation hasn't even found diamonds yet. Mm -hmm. Good point. They, they don't have them, uh, well, even though the other three of us do. Well, so, I propose... Mm -hmm. That if someone did did destroy base by use of explosives or TNT or any kind of respawn anchor or trap chest or anything like that, mm -hmm. the person who caused the damage should replace all materials lost in the damage. That includes yes. repairs to the home. Yes. Yes. That's Instead like of that. the diamonds. No, essentially what I was saying is if they actually purposely put TNT, mm -hmm. then it's diamonds. Otherwise, they should re they should replace it. And anyways, they'll replace it even even if they gave the diamonds. Yes, I agree. All right, so we have that. Uh, Alyssa, do you have anything to add to the war council? Um, I would just say war council. If someone's what? like about to die of like hunger, get middle of the floor. You gotta go in the middle. Of oh ah, like like help each other. Like whoa, don't let people Alyssa, die of hunger. And you rope don't let hard. people. Oh no. Uh, okay, uh, I will try to summarize what you just said. Essentially, you know, we're, we're, we have to we have to do war in a very non-destructive manner. By that, I mean uh, potentially no war where another person's items or another person's valuables get destroyed. Yeah, because that is no fun for anyone. Mm -hmm. Right. So no valuables. Also, well, the way I was thinking about it is, is I feel like war needs to be done on neutral ground. For example, if Brandon and I are, let's just say, in a cold war, and we decide to move it to an actual war, just an example, hasn't happened yet. Now, let's say Brandon and I decide to go to war. We, our battleground cannot be anywhere near anyone else's home. Okay. I think that's fair. Yeah, that's, that's fair. fair. All right. Uh, uh, I would, I would go like for it, to have go the floor, it. please. Yep. Um, speaking of this, I would like to submit a proposal to end the Cold War between the water, air, and fire nations. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. so I have a second. Shit. Alex, any Mitchell? opinions? Well... I kind of got lost on the civil on the Cold War. So it is is it all three one? Is it a triangular war so or is it two? It's the Water Nation and Air Nation ganged up on me. Yes. So oh. essentially, <laughs> essentially what happened was was that there was a tiny beef, as you know, Alex, between the Water Kingdom and the Air Kingdom, right? A, a tiny yeah. skirmish. All death settled now. Water under the bridge. Texture packs being stolen. Claims. claims. Texture. No, no, no. Color palace being stolen. Right. Again, right. allegedly, nothing happened. Right. We know that. We can't prove it. Exactly. Now, what happened was that in this little skirmish of ours, attentions were div diverted towards the Fire Kingdom, and then which has done nothing wrong. Uh, okay. Let me finish. You're not helping your case here. 
Okay. The issue was was that attention was diverted to our friend Brandon over here, and Hello. on like and due to lack of resources, all parties decided to start a cold war. No one would engage. However, Brandon has an idea where we end the cold war. What do you think about this, um, water president Alyssa? Um. Hey, how about this? If you if you guys would like to chat. You guys can have a moment to chat. Uh, I will go ahead and think myself behind this chair, and you and Brandon, you can think to yourself behind your own chair. What, do I have to actually go behind my chair? Okay. Well, actually, you what? don't have to because you already know what you want. Oh yeah, I want the cold war to stop. That's I'm I'm, do. I'm gonna think. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Hey, you, one sec, ready? I gotta be. We're gonna switch chairs on three, okay? Yep. Okay, ready. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brandon, but that's an act of war. We are now in active war with you. I'm really what? sorry. I didn't know. That's an, they jump chairs. <laughs> that means we are specifically fighting you. I'm sorry. What? They did it. That what? wasn't me. What? Not my decision. I didn't. I didn't. Do I, I, Hold I'm on. terribly Hold sorry. On wait, 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 it's wait, just wait, gotta wait. happen. I'm really sorry wait. about this. That was not a declaration of war. That was that was still chatter between. The ah, two presidents I see. Of the wait, 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 My wait. misunderstanding. Go ahead and go back, you guys. Hey, can we switch chairs again? Yes. yes. To reverse it? Yes. Okay. Ready? On three. One, two, three. All right. Okay, now, well, council, council, I have a question for you. Obviously, wait, as wait. We... It was never really cleared up. Is the war no, 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 no. Exactly. I am. I'm speaking. I'm speaking based on the the war treaty you have promised. Okay. All right. So, the Treaty of Brandon has been written, obviously, as we know. Essentially, the... the why are you... Treaty of Glowstone. Why, why are, yeah, Treaty of Glowstone. Um, <laughs> essentially, the whole point of the treaty was, and the premise basically was, is that we end this Cold War and regain peaceful trade until we have sufficient resources to actively engage each other, if need be. That is so not what we're doing. Well, how did this war start? Uh, I don't even remember. Messages but were, were sent. Were, things were said. None of them. Excuse me. Were was real. That... Do you have the floor right now? Go back to your seat. I would like to speak. All right, fine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, accord in accordance with Treaty Glowstone, mm -hmm. which is currently being written, mm -hmm. I would like. To end the Cold War and and re shut up, zombie, and re-enter peaceful trade with the Water Nation and the Air Nation. You mean kingdoms? I will not engage either of you in combat. Mm -hmm. If I accidentally do so, mm -hmm. I will apologize. I'm very sorry if I ever do. Yeah. Okay. 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 What can you I get in return from that? I, f I find I you know what I second the motion. I I third the motion. You yeah. haven't jumped yet, Alex. Yes, please jump if you're in agreement with the compromise. Mitchell, go die. <laughs> All right. Mitchell? I don't know. <clears throat> All right. Basically, we have decided anything we want to decide. Is there any other announcements any other council member would like to make? Here's the deck. I think uh, I got something. Yes. I just, gotta, I just gotta remember what it was. Alyssa, you're before. jumping. Do you have something to say? No, I was just having fun, like, crouching while jumping. I'm done now. Twerking. Whatever. <laughs> um, Alright, Brandon, do you have anything to say? Um, yes, I would. If any of you would need supplies from the nether... Yes, you have the ability to go get it yourself. However, for a peaceful prayed trice, I mean trade I'm price. I'm sorry, what? Prayed trice? <laughs> for a peaceful trade, I will go get the supplies you need for you in exchange for something I need. If at any time any of you need something from the nether and you don't want to go get it yourselves. I'm okay with that. Yes? Okay. All right. That works. Oh, and... um. Dope. Yeah. Oh, I no, have no. something I'd like to say. Uh, speaking in, in relation to the uh, commerce between our kingdoms, 
Uh, I have crop farms. If you guys need any crops or have any requirements on any crops you'd like me to plant, I will take care of it. Brandon, my good friend over there, will take care of the actual animal farms and get you the resources that he needs. Um, I'm from sure water, you... From the yes. Water Nation, we can, we can supply um, information. Squid. Uh, Alex, squid please, please go to the center. Oh, sorry. Thank you. From the Water Nation, we can um, supply ink and... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Possibly, I, I believe, I, I guess, why not books with quills because we're next to forest, mm -hmm. as well as la we have large abundances of fish. Exactly. Thank oh, you. yeah, we have a lot. Of Fantastic. Fish. Fantastic. Fantastic. I have, a, I have a question. Yes. In regards to the Water Nation's territories, what are you doing, Patel? What is y'all's no. policy on letting other nations fish in the water. Ah, yes. That's a good one. It's a good that's, one. Thank, thank you for bringing up the question. question. That's actually a very good question. It's one we have not thought about. Well, if it's water nation, if it is water that is not next to the water nation, and we don't, we, we aren't there, that, that should be okay, I believe. But if it's in water nation territory near Atlantis, then we, we offer the same, we offer the same olive branch that the Fire Nation would. In the sense that if you if you if you need any materials, we can spend our time fishing, or if you'd like you um for uh, in, in, for trade of for items that we need, or you can like uh, for passage into the Nether, which which is two iron for us. We don't need something that much. Maybe just like potatoes, I guess. Or well, iron. actually, Brandon. Oh uh, wait, here's the thing about yeah. that. Here's the thing. I'm removing that yeah. price. Oh, then, so I cool. just went no into my portal anyways. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like every nether portal connects back to my house, which is very yeah, annoying. So, no um, problem then. So I'm removing yes. that price. So anything y'all need, if you don't want to go in, I will get it. Uh, but other than that, if you would like use of my nether portal, just let me know before using it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. so, otherwise, yeah. Cool. That's, cool. So that's on the nether cool. price. So, uh, do you have anything to add to this? Because I mm -hmm. at least with that, I guess we don't need a price for fishing. Nope, I agree with what you said. Cool. So, all right, so we can fishing. fish anywhere and keep all of the stuff we get fishing as long as we're not near Atlantis. I would like to mention, though, for either if, of you, if you have any requests for my crop farm or if you want to get anything from my crop farm, please let me know. I will give it to you gladly. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't. I would rather you mm -hmm. not go mm -hmm. on my actual farm. That's cool with you guys. Yeah, that's cool. cool. Ooh, and... that that brings up another great point. I wanna I wanna talk about here, uh, Sai. So, mm -hmm. um, four nations, kingdoms, uh, kingdoms, like, kingdoms, king kingdoms, four kingdoms. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, four kingdoms. I would like to address what rules should be made over nation territory intrusion. Yes. And and stealing. That Ooh. that too. I have I have a proposition. A uh, solution to the idea, if you guys are cool with that. If it's death, I think we could come up with it. No, with it's definitely more. not. It's definitely not. I believe that near any nation's base, and you can have multiple bases, you can have outposts and everything like that. I believe within any nation's base, any blocks relating to that nation, within, say, 50 blocks cannot be used. Okay. That's yeah. fair. Basically, yes. you can't build in the sky within 50 blocks of, of my bases. You can't build in the nether within well, 50 blocks. Well, we can't blocks. build in the sky because that's Air Nation territory. So we Not all of it. Not, not all of it. If you wanted to build a sky mm. base in the air about 100 blocks away from any of my bases, that's technically open space. We could put water on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you have a glowing ball of fire in the sky and it's 100 blocks away from my base, I can't do anything about it. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Cool. And uh, is is that it? I I have one question. Oh, go for it. Go for it. I think I got I got lost when it came to this. How are we gonna address caves? Because our caves claim territory. No. Like, what if um, the hmm. the way caves work is that caves are shared territory. Essentially, the way it works is you go into sorry you go into a cave, you light up the cave, you get the resources, right? And any other person who goes in that cave sees the lights and goes, oh, people got the resources. They can either get the coal from there or they can just be like, no, you know what? I'm just going to I'm, I'm just gonna leave and go. All right. There is no stealing diamonds from any nations. Yes. Please yes. do not. No, I, 
There's we, no so skilling you, sorry, period. If we're sharing a cave, such as me and Sai, because we're next door neighbors, we're going to have the same cave. Mm-hmm. We could take iron resources, we could take coal resources from that cave. However, if I find diamonds in that cave and I tell Sai and he kills me to get the diamonds, that is thievery. Mm-hmm. I, in accordance with the first law we made, eye for an eye, I will kill him, obtain the diamonds back, but I will also give him back his stuff, but I will only take the diamonds back. All right. Break the town hall. I have to go, so I believe we have to adjourn this meeting, if that's cool mm-hmm. with everyone. Yeah. All right. Right. All right. All right. And I now commence the first official uh, council meeting <laughs> to be adjourned. Sweet. All right. Yay. Yay. All right. Screw you guys. I'm out. Hey, you guys. Um, This is just a quick outro, I guess, kind of thing. I just kind of want to talk about uh, this video in general. Um, I'm not really proud of this video. And that's because I think the editing in this video isn't really up to my quality of editing. Or at least, like, the, I guess, standard that I hold myself to. Um, the reason why is because this week, my personal life has kind of been a, l- a little shitty. So, unfortunately, the video has suffered because of that. Um, but also the fact that the video itself is just so long. I think maybe next time, or next week, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on making the editing better, but I'm worried that the length of the video is gonna suffer too, so, I don't know. But, overall, I'm not really a big fan of this episode. If you guys don't like it, I understand. Believe me, you can't dislike this episode more than I can. But I don't know. It just doesn't. It just. It doesn't feel like something that I'm truly proud of. I don't hate it. Um, there are some funny moments in there, but I don't know. Anyways, I'll. I'll, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys uh, next time. Have fun and stay safe. Make sure you're staying safe.